Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. And um, yeah, I'm happy to share my experience. Um, I'm actually Marian from, uh, we are located in Abu Dhabi in UAE. So um, Litify has helped us to migrate uh, from our previous uh, product to CloudGuard SaaS sometime earlier this year. And I've been really, really happy for the past few months, six months, especially during this COVID-19 um, situation. So previously, when we were using the previous product, um, there's a lot of phishing emails that actually slipped through that were sent to our users, things like uh, mails from the bank, posing, you know, asking the user to click the link to unlock certain account, and they look really um, genuine if you don't read it properly. So since we have um, implemented CloudGuard SaaS, I've not had this problem at all. So I'm really, really happy. And um, on top of that, um, I'm also happy to have this uh, anomaly detection where the geo-suspicious uh, anomalies that were detected if, let's say, a user has logged in in the UAE and then less than an hour later logged in somewhere else, so we got a notification for that. That is actually really helpful for us, um, and I'm really, really happy. And the dashboard is also very uh, user-friendly. So um, this is something that I actually put on the screen every day so to monitor that and to see if there's any events coming in and so on. So yeah, happy to recommend this product. That is great to hear. Thank you, Marianne. Yeah. I'm glad that we've been able to do that for you. And I'm, I'm glad that it's working so well for yeah. you. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, well, no, it's, it's our pleasure for sure. Um, I think when we first implemented for you, there were one or two accounts which yes. were, their credentials had been harvested, but the mm -hmm. hackers haven't gone after the payload yet. But because you had CloudGuard SaaS, you were able to prevent those next steps from happening, I think, as well. Correct. 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 That's, that's what happened. And also during the initial implementation, because our email system um, was an on-premise exchange uh, system at the time, we were in the midst of migrating to Office 365. So during the initial in implementation, I think there was some false positive because the system thinks that the emails from the on-premise exchange were actually a phishing email. So we had that problem, but the team were very fast to, to detect that and uh, fix that. And after that, it was all good. So even while we were migrating mailboxes from um, the on-prem exchange to Office 365, we are still able to use the um, CloudGuard SaaS and it works fine. 